Hello everyone, today I wanted to cover a topic that came up in one of my previous videos. So in my uh, video where I showed the process of hexing my iSpot Oshi, I mentioned at the very end that one of the techniques I sometimes use to deal with clipping issues and that I'd also used for the eyelids in that particular, uh, the fake eyelids in that particular hex is the full outline technique. So what I'm going to go over today is what exactly that is and how you can use it when you're hexing to get various different effects. I've first of all gone and hexed a very simple feature and I have used full outlines in a couple of places and I just want to start by showing you what that looks like in, in lines. And then also what it looks like in the game. So here we go. Full outlines is something that you can apply to the line section of a file. If I scroll down here to the line section, and so this line section right here, and you can see that the columns are labeled at the top. I have covered this roughly in a previous video. And the thing about the line section is that it actually can accommodate two more columns which are not shown. The first of those columns, so if you imagine a column here, it would be a column that determines the style of the outline around the lines themselves. And the last column, the second of the two, is a column that determines whether the balls are rendered over the lines or the lines are rendered over the balls. So by default, the lines are rendered under the balls, but you can change that. So here you can see an area where I've used the two extra columns. As you can see, you don't need to put the columns in everywhere. You just put them in where you need them. And what this has done is in the first column with the where I've added the ones that makes those lines display with full outlines and then the second column that is one makes them render over the top of the balls. It's also possible to put zeros in these and if you do that then it just looks like it normally would. So for example if I took this here and I changed this to zero then now this would render over the, the bowl, the line would render over the bowl, but it wouldn't have what we call full outlines. And of course, you can also do the opposite. You can just have one like this, and that will mean that it is rendered in the normal way, which is the line under the bowl, but it'll have a full outline. You can add these columns anywhere in the line section. One thing to keep in mind is that if you are making edits with Pet Workshop and then you go into Lines Pro and you add these extra columns and then you go back into Pet Workshop and you save in there, then these will disappear. It's the same as when you're anchoring paint balls. If you're familiar with anchoring paint balls, the last column that you add there is removed by Pet Workshop. So it's the same thing with full outlines. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's have a look at what this actually looks like. This is obviously the file saved with the full outlines in. If I bring out this pet, I hex this earlier. And the main area where I have used this is on the ears. So these black outlines that you see around the ear area, those are the full outlines and it's also rendering the lines over the top of the ball and uh, the balls and then the other thing that I have done is I've given this a no shine and if you if we have a look at the no shine you'll actually see that I did not do full outlines here I just changed the rendering so if you have no shines that disappear I've seen people complain about this many times before if you have no shines that are two little ad balls with a line linking them in between and they keep disappearing behind the nose, this is a simple way to solve that problem. Just make the line render over the top of the balls and then most of the time you'll be able to, to see that line. 
All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to edit this so that one ear has full outlines and one doesn't, so that you can see the difference between the two. So there we go. Now if you see the pet's left ear is the one that doesn't have full outlines and the right ear does. And you can see that it looks rather different. And then if I go here and I actually also remove these is the change in how it's rendered. I'll save it. Oops. And what you'll see, let me just adjust so you can see it better, is now you can barely see those lines at all. And the reason for that is that now these the, the ear balls are are over the top of the lines. So I don't have outlines on the on the balls at all, on the ad balls that make up the ear. They're just on the lines. So when the balls render over the top of the lines, you can barely see the lines in there now. Okay, I will also show you what it looks like with just the full outlines and no change to the rendering. All right, there we go. So again, because the balls are over the top, it's actually quite difficult to see the effect of the full outlines. You can kind of see it on the sides, but it's mostly obscured. So in general, if you use full outlines, you're going to want to also put the lines over the top of the balls. Not always, but most of the time you will. If you want the lines over the top of the balls, however, you don't necessarily need to use full outlines. It's just dependent on what exactly you're trying to achieve. And one more thing I'm going to show you is just what it looks like if the no shine doesn't have the rendering changed. This is going to be a little bit difficult to see, I think, but let's try. Yeah, it's so what you're going to maybe notice is that, yeah, you can see it there, but the line that connects the two little ad balls that make up the nose shine disappears quite a lot. It just clips in and out behind the nose balls. So it's just not as consistent and it can look a little bit weird. You see it kind of flickering there. Hopefully that's given you some idea of how that works. And I now want to show you some actual applications of it. So these are a bunch of pets that I've hexed and they all use either full outlines or the lines rendering over the balls in some ways. So if I take, for example, the these these two like this this one and this one they're called listen and arrow these two cats use this both full outlines and the line over the ball rendering on their ears and they also both have ear shine uh, no shines not ear shines no shines which again i've done them as i showed you a little while ago with the the line rendering over the ball oh goodness they're all fighting okay i'm gonna put these two away Then we have my leafy on here, Lettuce, and Lettuce also uses full outlines and rendering the line over the ball in all the leaf areas, the leaf details. And also this cat has, let's see if you can see it, has lip lines, as well as a no shine, lip lines which use the lines rendering over the balls. And that makes it so that the lip lines are more consistent, they don't disappear in and out of view. So that's really handy to do if you're trying to do lip lines, just like with the no shine. All right, so the same technique is what I used on 
shadow to get the eyelids to show consistently over the top of the the fake eyeballs. If I had not done that, then the eyeballs, these fake eyeballs, would always end up in front of the eyelid line, so it wouldn't really look like an eyelid. And the only way to make this really work without placing the eyelid very far in front, which would look weird from the side, is by using the lines over balls rendering. Okay, then we have these two guys. So these two cats are my cactus cats. And the actual only difference between them, other than coloring and textures, of course, is that this one is using lines over balls and this one isn't. So this extra spiny look that this cat has versus this one is just because of that second column. You can see the lines going right in, whereas on this one you can't, they just disappear into those ad balls. And that is, again, because the lines are rendering over the top of the balls. That's also why they all seem to be originating from the same spot. All right, and finally we have my haunted Haoshi, and I actually included this one in here to talk to you about the limitation of this uh, of this technique. So I used the line over balls effect on the roof a little bit, but for example, the central part of the house, which is made up of a few larger ad balls couldn't contain a line that goes over the top of the apples because if it did my paint balls which is what my windows and door here are made of would not show because the line would be over the top and of course you can't put paint balls on lines so just something to keep in mind there are instances where you can't just make the line appear over the top of the balls and it's a bit of a trade-off because you want your your paint balls to show Hopefully that's helped you to understand how to use full outlines and also the line over ball effect. If you have any more suggestions for things that you'd like me to cover in a future tutorial or any other video ideas you think would be nice to see, then please do let me know. I love reading your comments and hearing any suggestions you might have. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!